Hello. Let's directly jump into the code, which we will review and try to see if there are some problems and we will refactor it accordingly if needed. Here is a method display. What it is doing, it is taking two arguments, message and number. And here it is doing a sysout of concatenated message and number. What this if else hierarchy is doing? First, if else check. It checks whether message and number, these two arguments, if both are null, it is printing default message and default number as zero. Next, else if is checking if number is null, then it provides the value for default number. If message is null, then it is providing a default message here. So basically, it is printing concatenated message and number and if needed provide the default values for message and number whenever there are whenever these are null what do you say if there is any problem with this display method here okay one thing is it has nested if else's they can be a bit cumbersome to manage apart from that let's try to understand what are the problems it is hiding behind the scene one problem this code is having is lot of null checks. Second problem, of course, we discussed poor readability and maintainability. Third problem is it is violating single responsibility principle. How methods responsibility is not just printing the number, but providing the default values when message and or number are null. So basically it is doing two things, printing as well as providing a default value. So it is doing two things. Now, how to fix this problem? There can be multiple ways. What we are going to do today is we are trying to use a static polymorphism slash method overloading to solve this problem. Let's see how. First thing we should try to fix here is the responsibility of this method which is to print the concatenated message and number. So I think this is the only line which is needed here. Rest of the code should be moved out from here. Let's see how. So if I go here, it is called with two arguments, hello and 10, and this should work fine. Next scenario is when this method is called display uh, method with hello and null. So now null checks are not there and this method is not providing the default values for null, right? So what we can do here, we can simply create another method. Okay, so I have pasted it from the notepad, which I already have here. If you see this method accepts the message and it passes the default value for number here. So if instead of calling this display method and where we are passing null, so we can simply call display method which accepts message and it will provide the default value and it can pass the default value here and this message will work fine. Now let's see next case where message is null and this method do not provides the default value for null for message let's fix this problem so we have provided another method display it accepts only number because it provides the default message here so in this case instead of calling this original method we can avoid this passing null here and this method will be used right so no need to pass null here and now how to handle this one when both the message and number are null so we can introduce one more method okay so display method it do not accept any arguments it provides the default message and default number by itself so here instead of passing the null we can simply call the default method and now we can easily remove this 
code in real world actually we should use j units to ensure everything is working fine but just for the demo i guess it's fine here we have four methods my if else's are gone and what all we have fixed we are adhering to the single responsibility principle each method have its own responsibility next problem which we have solved here is okay now code looks much better cleaner and simple easy to maintain another problem which we have fixed is we have avoided the use of null so code is providing strong type safety so pro tip here is if you find nested if else in code pause for a minute try to see what problems it is hiding behind the scene fix those problems and nested if else are gone for more code refactoring object oriented programming and other tech topics stay tuned leave a comment below if you find this video helpful or if you are looking for a more specific topic thank you